Jake Alex was born on July 13, 1887, in prison, Serbia. Alex entered military service in Chicago and became a corporal in the U.S. Army in Company H, 131st Infantry, 33rd Division. Alex received the Medal of Honor for his actions at Shipley Ridge, France on August 9, 1918. At a critical point in the action, when all the officers with his platoon had become casualties, Corporal Alex took command of the platoon and led it forward until the advance was stopped by fire from a machine gun nest. He then advanced alone for about 30 yards in the face of intense fire and attacked the nest. With his bayonet, he killed five of the enemy, and when it was broken, used the butt of his rifle, capturing 15 prisoners. Medal of Honor Citation. Jake Alex passed away on August 28, 1959, at the age of 72 in Chicago, Illinois. He is buried at the Serbian Orthodox Monastery of St. Sava Cemetery in Libertyville, Illinois. Johannes Anderson was born on July 30, 1887 in Finland. He entered service in Chicago on October 8, 1918, where he became a first sergeant in the U.S. Army, Company B, 132nd Infantry, 33rd Division. Anderson received his Medal of Honor for his bravery at Consenvoy, France on October 8, 1918. While his company was being held up by intense artillery and machine gun fire, First Sergeant Anderson, without aid, voluntarily left the company and worked his way to the rear of the nest that was offering the most stubborn resistance. His advance was made through an open area and under constant hostile fire, but the mission was successfully accomplished, and he not only silenced the gun and captured it, but also brought back with him 23 prisoners. Medal of Honor Citation. Anderson passed away on April 15, 1950, at the age of 62. He is buried at Acacia Park Cemetery and Mausoleum in Chicago, Illinois. Michael Ellis was born on October 28, 1894, in St. Louis, Missouri. On February 8, 1912, he enlisted in the United States Army and achieved the rank of Sergeant of Company C, 28th Infantry, 1st Division. Ellis's actions near Exermont, France, on October 5, 1918, won him the Medal of Honor. During the entire day's engagement, he operated in advance of the first wave of his company, voluntarily undertaking the most dangerous missions and single-handedly attacking and reducing machine gun nests. Flaking one emplacement, he killed two of the enemy with rifle fire and captured 17 others. Later, he single-handedly advanced under enemy fire and captured 27 prisoners, including two officers and six machine guns, which had been holding up the advance of the company. The captured officers indicated the locations of four other machine guns, and he in turn captured these, together with their crews, at all times showing marked heroism and fearlessness. Medal of Honor Citation Ellis passed away on December 9, 1937, at the age of 43 in Chicago, Illinois. He is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Harold Gettler was born on July 21, 1890, in Chicago, Illinois. Gettler entered service in Chicago and was a first lieutenant pilot in the U.S. Army Air Corps of the 50th Aero Squadron Air Service. He received a Medal of Honor for his selfless acts during battle near Binerville, France, October 6, 1918. First Lieutenant Gettler, with his observer, 2nd Lieutenant Erwin Bleckley, 130th Field Artillery, left the airdrome late in the afternoon on their second trip to drop supplies to a battalion of the 77th Division, which had been cut off by the enemy in the Argonne Forest. Having been subjected on the first trip to violent fire from the enemy, they attempted on the second trip to come still lower in order to get the packages even more precisely on the designated spot. In the course of this mission, the plane was brought down by enemy rifle and machine gun fire from the ground, resulting in the instant death of 1st Lieutenant Gettler. In attempting and performing this mission, 1st Lieutenant Gettler showed the highest possible contempt of personal danger, devotion to duty, courage, and valor. Medal of Honor Citation. Gettler passed away on October 6, 1918, at the age of 28 from the events of that day. Sidney Gumperts was born on October 24, 1879, in San Rafael, California. 
He entered service in Chicago, Illinois, where he went on to become a first sergeant in the U.S. Army in Company E, 132nd Infantry, 33rd Division. Gumpertz received the Medal of Honor for his actions in the Bois de Forge, France on September 29, 1918. When the advancing line was held up by machine gun fire, First Sergeant Gumpertz left the platoon of which he was in command and started with two other soldiers through a heavy barrage toward the machine gun nest. His two companions soon became casualties from bursting shells, but First Sergeant Gumpertz continued on alone in the face of direct fire from the machine gun, jumped into the nest, and silenced the gun, capturing nine of the crew. Medal of Honor Citation Gumpertz passed away on February 16, 1971, at the age of 91, and is buried at the Long Island National Cemetery in Suffolk County, New York. Roland Hill was born on May 6, 1899 in Lindenwood, Illinois. He entered service in Oregon, Illinois, and during his service he became a corporal in the U.S. Army in Company H, 129th Infantry, 33rd Division. He received the Medal of Honor for his actions near Donovue, France, October 7, 1918. Seeing a French airplane fall out of control on the enemy side of the Meuse River with its pilot injured, Corporal Hill voluntarily dashed across the footbridge to the side of the wounded man and taking him on his back started back to his lines. During the entire exploit, he was subjected to murderous fire of enemy machine guns and artillery, but he successfully accomplished his mission and brought his man to a place of safety, a distance of several hundred yards. Medal of Honor Citation Hill passed away on March 25, 1977, at the age of 77, and is buried in Abilene Cemetery, Abilene, Kansas. Edward Isaac was born on December 18, 1891, in Cresco Howard County, Iowa. In 1915, Isaac enlisted in the United States Navy in Illinois and was eventually promoted to lieutenant. Isaac was chosen for a Medal of Honor for his deeds aboard a German submarine U-90 as a prisoner of war on May 21, 1918. When the USS President Lincoln was attacked and sunk by the German submarine U-90 on May 21, 1918, Lieutenant Isaac was captured and held as a prisoner on board the U-90 until the return of the submarine to Germany when he was confined in the prison camp. During his stay on the U-90, he obtained information of the movements of German submarines, which was so important that he determined to escape with a view to making this information available to the U.S. and Allied naval authorities. In attempting to carry out this plan, he jumped through the window of a rapidly moving train at the imminent risk of death, not only from the nature of the act itself, but from the fire of the armed German soldiers who were guarding him. Having been recaptured and reconfined, Lieutenant Isaac made a second and successful attempt to escape, breaking his way through barbed wire fences and deliberately drawing the fire of the armed guards in the hope of permitting others to escape during the confusion. He made his way through the mountains of southwest Germany, having only raw vegetables for food, and at the end, swam the River Rhine during the night in the immediate vicinity of German sentries. Medal of Honor Citation Isaac passed away on January 18, 1990, at the age of 98 in Fairfax, Virginia, and is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Harold Johnston was born on March 9, 1892 in Kendall, Kansas. Johnston entered service in Chicago, Illinois, where he rose in rank to sergeant, then private first class, in the U.S. Army, Company A, 356th Infantry, 89th Division. He received a Medal of Honor for his involvement near Poilly, France, November 9, 1918. When information was desired as to the enemy's position on the opposite side of the Meuse River, Sergeant Johnston, with another soldier, volunteered without hesitation and swam the river to reconnoiter the exact location of the enemy. He succeeded in reaching the opposite bank, despite the evident determination of the enemy to prevent a crossing. Having obtained his information, he again entered the water for his return. This was accomplished after a severe struggle, which so exhausted him that he had to be assisted from the water, after which he rendered his report of the exploit. Medal of Honor Citation Johnston passed away on August 28, 1949, at the age of 57, and is buried at Fairmount Cemetery in Denver, Colorado. 
John Kelly was born on June 24, 1898, in Chicago, Illinois. He entered into the military service in Chicago, and from there became a private in the U.S. Marine Corps, 78th Company, 6th Regiment, 2nd Division. Kelly received the Medal of Honor for his actions at Blancmont Ridge, France, on October 3, 1918. Those actions were recognized by the U.S. Army and Navy. Private Kelly ran through our own barrage 100 yards in advance of the front line and attacked an enemy machine gun nest, killing the gunner with a grenade, shooting another member of the crew with his pistol, and running through the barrage with eight prisoners. Army Medal of Honor Citation Kelly passed away on November 20, 1957, at the age of 59, and is buried at All Saints Cemetery, De Plains, Illinois. Berger Lohmann was born on August 24, 1886, in Bergen, Norway. Lohmann entered service in Chicago, Illinois, and was a private in the U.S. Army, Company H, 132nd Infantry, 33rd Division. Lohmann received his Medal of Honor for his actions near Constantboy, France, on October 9, 1918. When his company had reached a point within 100 yards of its objective, to which it was advancing under terrific machine gun fire, Private Lohmann voluntarily and unaided made his way forward after all others had taken shelter from direct fire of an enemy machine gun. He crawled to a flank position of the gun, and after killing or capturing the entire crew, turned the machine gun on the retreating enemy. Medal of Honor Citation Lohman passed away on May 9, 1968, at the age of 81, and is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Sterling Morlock was born on June 5, 1890, in Silver Run, Maryland. He entered service at Aquaca, Illinois, and was a private in the U.S. Army, Company M, 28th Infantry, 1st Division. Morlock was awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions near Exermont, France, on October 4, 1918. While his company was being held up by heavy enemy fire, Private Morlock, with three other men who were acting as runners at company headquarters, voluntarily led them as a patrol in advance of his company's front line through an intense rifle, artillery, and machine gun fire, and penetrated a woods which formed the German front line. Encountering a series of five hostile machine gun nests containing from one to five machine guns each, with his pistol, he cleaned them all out, gained and held complete mastery of the situation until the arrival of his company commander with reinforcements, even though his entire party had become casualties. He rendered first aid to the injured and evacuated them by using stretcher bearers, 10 German prisoners, who he had captured. Soon after his company commander was wounded, and while dressing his wound, Private Morlock was severely wounded in the hip, which forced his evacuation. His heroic action and devotion to duty were an inspiration to the entire regiment. Medal of Honor Citation Morlock passed away on September 1, 1964, at the age of 74, and he is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Whedon Osborne was born on November 13, 1892, in Chicago, Illinois. He entered service in Illinois and was a lieutenant junior grade in the Dental Corps of the U.S. Navy. Osborne received the Medal of Honor for his actions in Bouerche, France on June 6, 1918. For extraordinary heroism while attached to the 6th Regiment U.S. Marines in actual conflict with the enemy and under fire during the advancement on Bouerche, France on 6 June 1918. In the hottest of the fighting, when the Marines made their famous advance on Baroche at the southern edge of Bellu Wood, Lt. J.G. Osborne threw himself zealously into the work of rescuing the wounded. Extremely courageous in the performance of this perilous task, he was killed while carrying a wounded officer to a place of safety. Medal of Honor Citation Osborne passed away on June 6, 1918 at the age of 25 from the events near Barouche, France. He is buried at Anne Manouk American Cemetery in Belleau, Anne, France. Thomas Pope was born on December 15, 1894, in Chicago, Illinois. He entered the military service in Chicago as well, and was a corporal in the U.S. Army under Company E, 131st Infantry, 33rd Division. Pope received the Medal of Honor for his heroic actions at Hamel, France, on July 4, 1918. 
His company was advancing behind the tanks when it was halted by hostile machine gun fire. Going forward alone, he rushed a machine gun nest, killed several of the crew with his bayonet, and, standing astride with his gun, held off the officers until reinforcements arrived and captured them. Medal of Honor Citation Pope passed away on June 14, 1989, at the age of 94, and was the last surviving Army Medal of Honor recipient of World War I when he passed away. He is buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Robert Robinson was born on April 30, 1896, in New York, New York. He entered service at Chicago, Illinois, and was a gunnery sergeant, U.S. Marine Corps, 1st Marine Aviation Force. Robinson received the Medal of Honor for his actions at Pittem, Belgium on October 14, 1918. For extraordinary heroism as an observer in the 1st Marine Aviation Force at the front in France, in company with planes from Squadron 218, Royal Air Force, conducting an air raid on October 8, 1918, Gunnery Sergeant Robinson's plane was attacked by nine enemy scouts. In the fight which followed, he shot down one of the enemy planes. In a later air raid over Pitt and Belgium on October 14, 1918, his plane and one other became separated from their formation on account of motor trouble and were attacked by 12 enemy scouts. Acting with conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in the fight which ensued, Gunnery Sergeant Robinson, after shooting down one of the enemy planes, was struck by a bullet which carried away most of his elbow. At the same time, his gun jammed. While his pilot maneuvered for position, he cleared the jam with one hand and returned to the fight. Although his left arm was useless, he fought off the enemy scouts until he collapsed after receiving two more bullet wounds, one in the stomach and one in the thigh. Medal of Honor Citation Robinson passed away on October 5, 1974 at the age of 78 in St. Ignace, Michigan. He is buried at Arlington National Cemetery.